Hey YouTube, this is Evan Magician 34 and I'm just doing a quick review for uh, the recent regionals that I went to down in Irving, Texas. Uh, this deck is essentially my Junk Frogs deck that I've already posted, so I'm going to be really quick going through it. Uh, but it went 6-2, it did really well, and arguably I could have gone 7-1. Um, just like a weird sequence of events ended up leading me to lose a match against uh, Car Curries. But basically that was it, and the only other deck I lost to was Gladiator Beasts, which is kind of a tough matchup for the deck anyway, because of Radiari and the Chariot. We'll just go through it right quickly again. Uh, three copies of Treeborn Frog. Three copies of Fishboard Blaster. And once more, if you want a little bit more info on this, check out my Junk Frogs deck. Three copies of Swap Frog. One copy of Dupe Frog. One copy of Ronin Toadine. Moving on to the Monarchs, three copies of Kai's the Shadow Monarch, of course, pretty much the best Monarch ever. Two copies of Rise of the Storm Monarch. Two copies of Mobius, who really did an amazing job. I was impressed. Uh, his spell trap destruction turned out to be more useful than I'd even predicted originally. Um, Dark Just Spirit. Two copies of Junk Synchron, who I think this guy is the difference between winning and losing a, co a number of times. So uh, he definitely pulled his weight. Uh, any skepticism I'd had before is uh, totally gone. Uh, Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. And last but not least, two copies of Battle Fader. Yep, just two. That's all you really need. Any more and they start clogging up. Um, didn't really pose a problem for me either. Monster Reborn. Dark Hole. One for one. Foolish Burial. Two copies of Moray of Greed. Two copies of Pot of Hours. Three copies of Enemy Controller. One copy of Giant Trinade. Two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon. And last but not least, two copies of Malevolent Catastrophe. This card uh, won me actually quite a few games just because of its ability to wipe out whole back rows. People were setting lots of cards and would attack straight into it, it just devastated them. And without their uh, back rows to protect them, um, they just lost their ability to fight me, and I just ran them over with the Monarchs, essentially. Uh, the extra deck is Shooting Star Dragon, two copies of Stardust Dragon, one copy of Scrap Dragon, one copy of Colossal Fighter, one copy of Black Rose Dragon, um, the 15th card from before that I eventually settled on was uh, Ancient Sacred Wyvern. It actually killed quite a few people. I was surprised how uh, many times I used it. Um, very powerful card. In fact, the first game of first match I won because of this guy. Um, if you got a life point lead, this guy really does uh, push it through, and he can mean the difference between winning this turn or your opponent possibly coming back on another turn. So, quite a good card. Brynak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Junk Gardena. I'll have Justice Cataster. Junk Warrior, I actually managed to pop this guy out at like 3400 a couple of times. It's pretty useful. Armory Arm. And the ever powerful three copies of Formula Synchron. And the extra deck I was running, or sorry, the side deck that I was running, which is a little bit uh, something I didn't show in the other video. Uh, two copies of Effect Veiler, a lot of side ends for this. Uh, very good news, GBs. Um, two copies of D.D. Crow, three copies of Puppet Plant, obviously for uh, six amps. Um, and these seven cards, even though they're all monsters, essentially uh, act like spells. So, Two copies of Kinetic Soldier, two copies of Vanity Fiend. This guy's largely uh, your Mobiuses go out in the mirror match and turn into Vanity Fiend, but he also works on uh, GBs to an extent. Um, as well as Snow Man Eater, and he's also meant for Black Wings. He works really well against Black Wings. Um, Bear from the Different Dimension, you use this, uh, you side it in against almost anybody because they're going to side in their removal for you. Um, it's especially good during the standby phase. Uh, they chain Disappearance or Crow you, and you can chain this out of your hand, bring the, frog, the Tree Warm Frog back, and bring it in, in, into play again anyway, since you're still in your standby phase. Good card. And last but not least, Return from the Different Dimension for people who side in a lot of removal or who are already main decked or what have you. Especially if it's a deck that sides in Banishers, um, you can side this in as extra power and it brings back your Monarchs that are uh, bottomless and stuff like that too. So, um, can be a good card for swinging momentum since you can't run a second copy of Burial. Anyway. Okay, that's the deck. 
And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy, and don't forget to check out my channel.